You may have me outnumbered and outgunned, but if I'm going down, I'm taking all of you with me. This thermal detonator will blow us all to bits. Damn those shit! I'll bring this whole hangar down around our ears! I'm here. Taris is defenseless against our assault, Lord Malak. They are offering no resistance. The city is in ruins. Resume the bombardment, Commander. Wipe this pathetic planet from the face of the galaxy. Even the Sith would think twice before attacking Dantooine. There are many Jedi here, including several of the most powerful masters of the Order. There is great strength within this place. We can get supplies here and recuperate. The Academy is a place of mental and spiritual healing, something we could all use after what we've been through. Maybe you're right. It isn't easy to witness the annihilation of an entire planet. I know Meshin must be taking it pretty hard. She will find a way to come to terms with her grief. She's stronger than she appears. We just need to give her time. Now I must go speak with the Council. I need their advice on recent developments. After I've met with them, I will meet you outside the ship. Hey guys, Stasis here, and today we're playing some more Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Don't forget, if you like the videos, to hit the like button and subscribe for more. So, we have finally made it off of Taris. We are now um, at Daltooine, I think that's where it is. And apparently we have to go meet the Council. So I'm just trying to run to catch up with these guys, because they've run off without me. And apparently... I can't do anything until I've, like, spoken with these council people. So, I'm gonna follow them. You there, Padawan. Why are you not wearing the customary robes of the Jedi? Do you mock the honored traditions of our order? Uh... Bastila. I have heard of her. Now they I've say lost she them. She's already mastered so. the art of battle meditation. Remarkable in one so young. Though I've heard she has a foolish pride in her own talents. But as for you, you claim you are not a Padawan? I find this hard to believe. The Force is strong within you. I can feel its presence. If this is some type of jest, it is in very poor taste. The Jedi Order is not a subject for jokes. Please forgive the abruptness when I, get a I first greeted you. It was harsh and perhaps unfair. My master often warns me that I must learn to control my emotions. I see I have much left to learn. I wish you a pleasant stay here on Dantooine. May the Force be with you. Okay, I don't know where they went. <laughs> oh, there's Karth. Ah, so you are the one who rescued Bastila. It is appropriate you are here. We have been discussing your rather special case. I am Jar. A member of the Jedi Council. With me are Master Vrook, Master Vandar, and of course the chronicler of our academy, Master Dorak. Padawan Bastila, I am sure you are already familiar with. Okay. Bastila tells us you are strong in the Force. We are considering you for Jedi training. Yes, please. Master Jar speaks out of turn, perhaps. We need indisputable proof of your strong affinity to the Force before we would even consider accepting you for training. Proof? Surely the entire Council can feel the strength of the Force within this woman. And I have already related to you the events that took place on Terrace. Perhaps it was simple luck. We both know there is no luck. There is only the Force. We all feel the power in Bastila's companion, though it is wild and untamed. Now that this power has begun to manifest itself, can we safely ignore it? 
The Jedi training is long and difficult, even when working with a young and open mind. Teaching a child is hard. How much harder will it be for an adult to learn the ways of the Jedi? Um... Traditionally, the Jedi do not accept adults for training, though there are rare exceptions in the history of our order. But you are a special case. I agree with Master Doric. Many of our own pupils are leaving the Jedi Order to follow the Sith teachings. We need recruits to stand against Malak. With Revan dead... Are you certain Revan is truly dead? What if we undertake to train this one and the Dark Lord should return? We should discuss this matter more fully in private. Bastila, you and your companion must go. This is a matter for the Council alone. As you wish, Master Vandar. We shall return to the Ebon Hawk and leave you to your deliberations. Please train me. Oh, I'm having weird dreams again, I think. No, she didn't. She didn't seem well, as I recall, and for that matter, neither do you. Are you all right? You got it. Oh, I can add people back again, but I can't take Bastilla. That's sad. Okay. Huh? Oh, sorry. I was thinking about Terrace. I still can't believe it's gone. I mean, I grew up there and now it's... it's... it's just gone. I don't really think there's anything you can say. I just have to find some way to deal with it, I guess. It'll take some time. Look, I'm not saying I can't go on or anything like that. It's just... it's a shock, you know? I mean, I knew the Sith were evil and all, but the reality of it kind of slaps you in the face. But I suppose that's why we need to stop Malak, right? The more time I spend dwelling on Terrace, the more chance some other planet will get wiped out. I guess that's what it comes down to. So don't worry about me. I'll be okay. And if you need my help against Malak or the Sith, I'll be there for you. Cool. Okay. Runda di hotonga kun hunka bi. Okay, I, I don't know whether I should talk to you, but I feel like I should. Uh, came here with Bastilla. Oh, <laughs> Technically, I saved her, but anyway. Oh, okay, thanks. Oh, this place seems cool. Bastila has told us of a most unusual development. She claims you and she have shared a dream. A vision of Malak and Revan in the ancient ruins here on Dantooine. These ruins have long been known to us, but we believe them to be merely burial mounds. Perhaps they're more than we first suspected, if Revan and Malak found something there. Bastila has described this shared dream to the Council in great detail. We feel it is more than a dream. It is a vision. The Force is acting through you, as it acts through Bastila. That's you more and the reason Bastila to dream. share a powerful connection to the Force, and each other. This is not unheard of. Connections often form between Master and Student. But rarely does a bond develop so quickly. Whatever dangers may lie ahead, we cannot ignore the destiny that has brought you and Bastila here to us, together. You and she are linked, as is your fate to hers. Together, you two may be able to stop Darth Malak and the Sith. But do not let your head be filled with visions of glory and power. Such thoughts are the path to the dark side. The way of the light is long and difficult, as you must learn. Are you ready for such hardship? Understand that there is little choice in this matter, for you or us. 
Across the galaxy, the numbers of our order dwindle. We have sent many Jedi in quest of a way to thwart Malak's advance. Many have not returned. The Sith hunt the Jedi down like animals, ambushing and assassinating our brothers wherever they are found. We fear it is only a matter of time until they discover even this hidden refuge. Other Jedi have fallen from the light and embraced the dark side, giving their allegiance to the Sith and Malak, their Dark Lord. Okay. The lure of the dark side is not easy to resist. Malak's power grows as more and more planets fall to his conquering armies. If Malak is not stopped, the Republic will fall, and the Jedi will be hunted to extinction. The galaxy will enter a time of darkness and tyranny, not seen for a thousand generations. The Council has decreed that you and Bastila must investigate the ancient ruins you dreamed of. Once the Council deems you ready. Perhaps there you will find some clue, some explanation of how Revan and Malak were corrupted. And perhaps there you shall find a way to stop them. The Force flows through you like no student we have ever seen. But you are willful and headstrong, a dangerous combination. Before we send you to investigate the ruins, you must Yay, be trained be in the ways of the Jedi so that you can resist the darkness within yourself, within all of us. Otherwise, you are doomed to fail. We must begin your training at once. You have a destiny upon you that you must be prepared to face. The entire fate of the galaxy is upon you. I can only hope you will prove up to the task. The path you have chosen to walk is difficult. Intensive training will prepare you physically for the demands of the Order. Meditation will teach you to channel the power of the Force. To truly understand the way of the Jedi, you must open your mind to knowledge. Seek wisdom in the teachings of the great masters of our Order. A Jedi is never alone. Others in the Order will always stand by you. You and Bastila share a special bond. Do not be afraid to turn to her when you need help in your training. The way of the Jedi is difficult. It requires great discipline. Yet even though you are a mere apprentice, your potential is unlimited, and your progress amazing. In all my years, I have never seen one who has mastered the initial training so quickly. You have done in weeks what many cannot do in years. I am honored to welcome you fully into the Jedi Order. Soon your apprenticeship will end, and you will be granted the title of Padawan, the lowest rank of those within the Jedi Order. Yet first, you must prove yourself worthy. Wow, okay, that was quick. <laughs> um... In the traditions and customs of our Order, as handed down from master to pupil for a thousand generations, you must successfully complete three tests before you earn your place among the Jedi. Okay. These tests will see if you have truly mastered the training you have been given, both mental and physical. Upon completing these tests, you will pass from apprentice to Padawan and join in the ranks of the Jedi. First, I will test your knowledge of the Jedi Code. These tenets must always guide your actions. In everything you do, you must always be conscious of their wisdom. You must prove you have a Jedi's understanding of the code. Return when you feel you are ready for this challenge. Okay. Well, how do I know when I'm ready for this challenge? Okay. I don't know the code. I probably should. Maybe best to... If you have questions, you should direct them toward the Jedi Council members. Oh. Greetings, young apprentice. Have you come seeking knowledge of the past? Those who do not learn from history are doomed to repeat it. 
or so they say. As a chronicler of the Academy here on Dantooine, I feel it is my duty to share the history of our Order with the newly initiated. Unfortunately, our recent history is one of tragedy and bloodshed. The Mandalorian Wars, the fall of Revan and Malak, the rise of the Sith. There are important lessons to be learned from these events, if we do not wish to repeat the mistakes of our past. Oh, okay, we can ask him about the Jedi. All Jedi must know the code. Its tenets are the fundamental teachings of our order. Think and meditate on these truths, Apprentice. There is no emotion. There is peace. There is no ignorance. There is knowledge. There is no passion. There is serenity. There is no chaos. There is harmony. There is no death. There is the Force. Knowledge of the code will lead you to the rank of Padawan and knowledge of the Order and its history will guide you down the path of the Light. Okay. As you wish, I will I'm not, not sure force you to hear what I have to say. Though I think it is unwise to ignore the lessons of the past. Perhaps you can return when you have more time. Greetings, my young pupil. Your progress has been most remarkable so far. Are you here to continue your training in the ways of the Jedi? Soon your apprenticeship will end, and you will be granted the title of Padawan, the lowest rank of those within the Jedi Order. In okay. the traditions and customs of our Order, as handed down from master to pupil. Oh, they have to do them all in one go? These tests will see if you have truly mastered the trick. First, I will test you. You must now prove you have a Jedi's understanding of the... There is no emotion. I've already forgotten. That is not correct, Apprentice. Damn it! There is no shame in admitting weakness. Return. I feel like I need to write these down. <laughs> Greetings, young apprentice. As a cro the mandal. Right. All there is knowledge of the code will lead. Oh no! As I skipped it. I didn't mean to. Reading as a cr the Mandalorian. All Jedi must know that there is no emotion, there is peace, there is no ignorance, there is knowledge, there is no passion, there is serenity, there is no chaos, there is harmony, there is no death, there is the Force. Knowledge of the Code will lead you to the rank of Padawan, and knowledge of the Order and its history will guide you down the path of the Light. Okay, let me try this again. As I don't know if we have to complete all three in one go. If we do, then this won't work, but I really want to know if I can do the first one. Greetings. Okay. So in the these for you there is Okay, so there is no emotion, there is just peace. There is no ignorance. Um knowledge. There is no passion. Surrender. There is no chaos. Harmony. There is no death. Force. You have learned your studies well, Apprentice. It will not be it. long before you are a full <laughs> member of our order. But first, you must pass the second test and learn about the most prized possession of a Jedi. The very symbol of our order. The lightsaber. The lightsaber is the traditional weapon of our order. It is a symbol of a Jedi's skill, dedication, and authority. And each lightsaber is as individual as the Jedi who wields it. The blade is made of pure energy, focused by polished crystals in the hilt. As the second test, each Jedi must construct her lightsaber with her own hands. And now it is your Not time. Really? Speak with Master Dorak, and he will guide you through the choosing of a crystal. I get to build a lightsaber. Ah. 
Ah, you have come, young apprentice, at Master Zar's... The time has come for you to choose the color of your lightsaber. This color also reflects your demeanor and position within the Order. Blue is the color of the Jedi Guardian. This Jedi battles against the forces of evil and the dark side. They focus more on combat training and use of the lightsaber. Yellow is the color of the Jedi Sentinel. This Jedi ferrets out deceit and injustice, bringing it to light. They focus less on combat and more on other skills and abilities. Green is the color of the Jedi Consular. This Jedi seeks to bring balance to the universe. They mediate between other groups, using their powers to end conflict and preserve peace. I want the blue one. Indeed. We shall see. I will now ask you questions and your responses will indicate which class you lean most towards. A woman and her small child are beset by a desperate looking group of thugs. They're menacing her with weapons and she screams to you for help. What do you do? Hmm. Indeed. Very well. On to the next question. You are in combat with a dark Jedi allied with the Sith. There is a pause in the combat. What do you do? Yes, I suspected as much. <laughs> now for the next question. I don't know if this there is, is a the locked door, the and one. your goal lies on the other side. What do you do? I am beginning to see a pattern here, Apprentice. I have a feeling about what you would be best at. But first, the final question. You are the head of an enclave on a contested world. The Dark Jedi have infiltrated and are causing unrest across the planet. What do you do? Yes, I thought as much. As I suspected, you would be most yes. suitable <laughs> as a Jedi Guardian. Which color and path do you believe yourself most suited to? Apprentice. Here is a blue crystal for your lightsaber. Go speak to Master Jar again and he will instruct you in how to construct it. Wow. Oh wait, can I not leave this? I have to I have to definitely level up. Okay. Probably gonna need more strength then, aren't I? Never sure what to go for. Um... Oh, I've been granted new things. So, what does this do? This. Hours. Oh, here we go. Uh, I'm going to go for those for now. Defense and attack. Ah, good. Now that you have selected your crystal... have a lightsaber <laughs> okay to be honest guys this is probably a good point to leave this video um thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more and next time we'll be doing some lightsaber action cheers guys